Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and in this tutorial I'll be talking about lists. So what's a list? A list is basically a variable that has more than one value. I'm going to show you guys an example of that here in my Dart editor. Here I initialized a variable which I called red and uh, I used the open braces, oh I'm sorry, open bracket and close bracket. Within that open and close bracket I, there's three values. The first value is a 1, the second value is a 2, the third value is a 3. Now the way that Dart organizes these val values is uh, same as other programming languages like uh, JavaScript. It starts out with a zero. The first place would be a zero. I'll give you guys an example of that right now. So the first place is a zero. The second place is a one. The third place is a two. Now, here is the zeros place. Here we have a, a value of, of one. You can you can be any value. You can name it. You could give a value two, three, four. Doesn't make a difference. Here's this the ones place, as you can see here. The ones place. The ones place has a value of two. Here is the twos place. The twos place has a value of three. So again, like other programming languages, Dart starts uh, with a zero and uh, ends with a nine. So you could have ten values in one variable. And the, and the way we initialize a variable is using this open bracket. I'm sorry, the way we initialize a uh, list variable is starting with this open bracket. And in the open bracket, you have to uh, put the amount of values you want in there from 0 to basically 10. It's from 0 to 9. And uh, you can either make it an uh, integer or a string. The way we, if, if we wanted to make it a string, we could just use the quotation for this one here. And, and this would be a value of a string value of, of 1. So I'm just going to delete the strings. I'm going to show you more about the strings in a second. Now I'm going to show you how we can invoke the different var values in the variable here. I'm going to use a print method. I'm going to just space this out a little bit. And uh, the open parentheses. And within uh, the print method, I'm going to print out the value of the zero space, which should be one here. So I'm going to type in the variable red with the open bracket and a close bracket. And within the the brackets, you you want to put the place, which place, which value. So I'm going to use the zeros place. And within the zeros place is the one here. And like any other statements, you have to make sure you end with a semicolon. Every time you write a statement, it has to end in a, with a semicolon. Now I'm going to press play on the program. As you can see, it printed at one because the zeros, the value in the zeros place is a one. And now I'm going to try that again with the twos place here. The value in the twos place is a two. So I'm going to press play. I'm sorry. <laughs> the value of, of the twos place is actually a three. So, so it printed out three. Now I'm going to I'm going to try the twos place. Sorry, the ones place. I'm going to press play. The ones place is this a value of two. So it printed out two. So it worked. Now, now I'm going to change the value up here a bit. I'm going to go to the zeros place and I'm going to make this a, make it a hundred, the value of a hundred. And I'm going to type in here the, the zeros place. So this is going to print out, it should print out a hundreds. So I'm going to press play. It worked. It printed out 100. Now let's test it out here. I'm going to change this to a 50. And this is the ones place. So I'm going to type in 1 here. And I'm going to press play. As you can see, it printed out 50. Now let's say you want to uh, make, the, instead of an integer, you want it to be a uh, string. The way we do that is by uh, using the either the double or the single quotations. I'm going to use the single quotation. And it, within that single quotation, I'm going to give it a string value of, uh, let's call it green. So we have the string value of green inside the zeros place here. So I'm just going to type zero here and see what uh, prints out. As you can see, it printed out the string value of green. Now, we can either be strings or integers. You couldn't mix the two. 
See the good thing about Dart, we can uh, mix mix it up. Here I have a string value, and here I have a integer value, so we can mix it up. That's the good part about Dart. I'm going to show you guys a cool way you can use the list variable here. I'm going to type in uh, the variable red. Use the open bracket. Within open bracket, I'll use the space value of uh, I'll say that zeros, which is a five. So zeros place here. I'm going to hit space. Use the equals sign. Hit space again. Type in red variable with the open and close bracket. Within the open and close bracket, I'm going to use the value, the space value of one, the ones place. I'm going to hit space again. Use the plus symbol. Hit space. Type in our variable red with it open and close bracket. Within open and close bracket, I'm going to use the twos value two's place value, which is a th three here. And like every other statement, we have to end with a semicolon. Now, underneath that, the, I'm going to keep this print method here, and it's going to print th the value of the variable of red with uh, the zeros place. So here, the variable red with the zeros place is equal to the variable red with the ones place, which is the 50, plus the variable red with the two's place, which is a three. So it's basically 50 plus three, which is 53. So red zero should equal to 53. And this print statement is, should print out 53. So I'm gonna hit play. And it worked, it hit, it's 53, the value is 53. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, please leave me comments. I'm Rasim from RossMertech.com and thanks for watching.